Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. Alright, so today we are going to be playing what looks like a very busy month of March 2011, uh, only nine years ago. Um, we are sitting at top of the Eastern Conference, but uh, by eight points, so it's not a lead that I would consider comfortable or, you know, big or anything like that. Uh, if we have a few losses in a row and Pittsburgh wins some games, they're gonna be right there behind us. So we're gonna need to be winning games here in this very busy month. Uh, on the injury front, we still have Volchenkov that's out for a few weeks and Datsyuk should be back shortly. Um, that's pretty much it. The trade deadline is behind us, so it's pointless to look for trade partners or anything like that. So we're just gonna go and trudge through it. I was unable to trade my unhappy players, so they will either walk at the end of the season or I will get to trade them after the playoffs or something like that. Just like in real life, there's been uh, some trades uh, during the playoffs from the among the teams that have been eliminated so Montreal has been a little busy there to get some depth uh, in goal and on D in real life of course uh, is what I'm referring to uh, but anyway so we are going to get started uh, it starts today uh, no rest for the wicked uh, so Boston is gonna be in town uh, we are hosting the Bruins they are not doing too good in Boston they are 24 33 and 5 over there that's good for 12th in the East and we are 4 and 0 against Boston this season it looks like that might be the last game that we play against Boston this season all right so as usual, go sends go, and as usual, Boston is not playing Ryan Miller. Um, they, they are playing Yevgeny Nabokov. And Brian Elliott is going to be in net for the Suns, and let's see what happens. And we won 3-2 in overtime slash shootout, so uh, yeah, it was in the shootout. Uh, oh, and the shots on goals are pretty reasonable I, we outshot Boston 35 to 23 so that's you know nothing too outrageous there uh, Joe Thornton was the first star of the game he had a goal and an assist John Michael Lyles was the second star with an assist and Marianosa was the third star with an assist as well so the game was in Ottawa uh, we had 18,079 people in attendance for this game And Jason Spezza opened up the scoring in the first period with his 35th on the power play from Alex Pietrangelo and Joe Thornton. And then Joe Thornton from Marianosa. It was 2 nothing Sands after 1. Then Boston actually tied the game in the second period. They scored two pretty quick goals uh, in 53 seconds apart. And then nobody scored in the third period. That went in overtime. Nobody scored there. We did give a power play to Boston in overtime, but they weren't able to score. Then uh, in the shootout, we had Eric Carlson that scored, and then Jason Spitza. Nobody scored for Boston, so we won 3-2. Looks like we're going to have a long... Um, road trip right there to well I see long it's four games so that's gonna happen hopefully we can do good on the road looks like every year I have like a road trip where I don't do all that great so I guess we'll see uh, suspension for Redick Dvorak in Carolina he's gonna miss three games Eugene Melnick is still very happy we went 11-0-2 in February and that's who should be back soon. Yep, he's able to play right now if we need him. Alright, and we are heading to Atlanta for a quick road game. Oh, lots of news. Johan Franzen in Detroit is suspended. He's going to miss five games. So Johan Franzen's nickname, I believe, is The Mule. So the Mule is suspended. 
Open Ice leads to Product of Night for Patrick Kane, who had four assists for uh, against Calgary. So pretty good night. Matt Martin back from suspension with the Islanders back in the lineup. Suspension for Jordan Stahl with Pittsburgh. He's going to miss five games. Sidney Crosby extends his point streak to 23 games with a goal and an assist against Toronto. Alright. Right, and Pavel Datsuk is almost back. Alright, and we are now going to be playing in Atlanta against the Thrashers. So the Thrashers are doing pretty good. They are 42 17 and 5. That's good for third in the East. They are atop of their division, but just barely. Washington is breathing right down their necks. Uh, we are 2 0 against Atlanta this season. So let's see if we can beat them on the road. So we're going to have Brian Elliott in that. They are going to carry Lettonen. Ooh, we won 3 0. Right. Yeah, again, the shots are pretty decent. So we outshot Atlanta 29 to 19. Pavel Datsuk was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Petrus Bergeron was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Jason Spezza was the third star with a goal. Uh, let's see here. Nobody scored in the first period. And in the second, Jason Spezza scored from Pavel Datsuk and Petrus Bergeron. Then Petrus Bergeron from Zdeno Shara and Pavel Datsuk. 2 nothing Suns after 2. And finally, in the third period, we had Matt Stajan scoring from Mike Fisher. It was 3 nothing, and that was pretty much it. Very few penalties in that game as well. Uh, not a whole lot going on in this game. Except that we got the W. That did happen. Ooh. Marty Turco is being put on waivers in Vancouver. He's been there for a while, too. Then Tommy Mackey is being put on waivers by Philadelphia. Shane Doan has played in 1,250 games in Phoenix pretty quietly as well. We haven't heard that much about Shane Doan in this playthrough. Uh, Shane Doan was a good player, but he was I never considered Shane Doan to be like a superstar or anything like that. He was a good player, but I guess maybe that's why he hasn't really shown up in our playthrough here. So 1,250 games for Shane Doan. He did get one assist. Uh, to celebrate that and 34 years old Shane Doan one star and a half player now and all right all right and now we are back at home to play against the Rangers uh, Rangers are really not doing too good 25 35 and 6 they are 11th in the East with that record and we are 2-0 against the Rangers, including a very decisive 11-1 win at home. And we are hosting them right now before we hit that the road for that four-game uh, road trip that I mentioned before. All right, so Rangers are going to send Henrik Lundqvist in net. We're going with Brian Elliott. Let's see if we can beat them. 11 to 1 again would be pretty cool, but I'm good with whatever at this point. And we won 6 to 1. Pretty decisive, pretty good game again. Alright, so we did outshoot the Rangers 67 to 12. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Pavel Datsuk was the second star back in the lineup with three assists. And Petrus Bergeron was the third star with a goal and two assists. We had 17,806 people in attendance for this game. And the Rangers actually scored first in this game, and they were leading 1-0 after 1. Then in the second period, Mike Fisher tied the game with his 10th of the season from Drew Doughty and Ryan Whitney, and then Jason Spezza from Petrus Bergeron and Pavel Datsuk, and it was 2-1 Sens after 2. And in the, sec in the second period there, we had Zeden Oshar and Tim Jackman fight yet again. Looks like they're fighting every time that those two teams are facing off. 
And then in the third period, we scored four unanswered goals to completely run away with this game. Sam Gagne scored from Joe Thornton and Eric Carlson. Then Patrice Bergeron scored his 20th from Pavel Datsuk and Jason Spezza. Alexander Radulov scored on the power play from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton. And then Alex Pietrangelo from Pavel Datsuk and Patrice Bergeron. And 6-1 was the final score. Pretty good game. Pretty one-sided game. Rick Nash has reached 600 points in his career with an assist against Calgary. So Rick Nash is now 26 years old with, uh, and he's a two-star talent. That doesn't. I, I think I've mentioned it before. That doesn't seem very high for Rick Nash. I mean, I don't think Rick Nash was necessarily a five-star player, but, you know, at 26, I do think he was more than a two-star player. Uh, Sidney Crosby's point streak ended at 23 games. Oh, boy, he was stopped by the Devils. No points against the New Jersey team. And that's who is completely back. And that's not a, cr a criticism that, you know, Rick Nash is not rated as high as it was in real life. I like some var variants. Actually, I've talked about how there's... I feel just a little too little of it. Uh, although there, we do see some exceptions and everything. So uh, I've talked about Victor Ubel a million times already. So that I think that's pretty cool that he's had a pretty nice NHL career in uh, my sim. All right, so we are going to be simming a few days because we're playing in a couple days in New Jersey. Against the Devils, of course. Now Eric Esber er, Eric Erzberg is on waivers. I don't need him. And apparently neither do the Ducks. Brian Campbell extends his assist streak to eight games. He had an assist against the Wild. All right, we are now in New Jersey to face the Devils. Uh, so the Devils are doing better than they've been doing for the past few seasons. They are now 32-29-4. and four. That's good for the eighth spot in the East uh, for a playoff spot. Looks like uh, that spot is being fought between them, the Leafs, and the Sabres. All right, and we are 1-0-1 against New Jersey. Um, this is an, actually the loss we had was in New Jersey. It was a 4-3 loss in overtime. So let's see if we can avenge that playing in New Jersey. Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us, of course, and Martin Brodeur in net for New Jersey. Oh, I, I clicked on the button. I guess not. And we won 3-1. We outshot the Devils 40 to 18. Alexander Radulov was the first star of the game. He scored two goals. Brandon Nolan was the second star with a goal. And Jason Spezza was the third star with a goal and an assist. So Radulov opened up the scoring in the first period on the power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. And it was 1 0 Suns after 1. Then in the second period, Jason Spezza scored from Ryan Whitney. 2 nothing Suns after 2. And there was a fight between Antoine Vermette and Zeden Oshara. Oof, Vermette probably... Uh, I really liked Vermette as a player, but uh, yeah, not much of a fighter. So that was probably very one-sided as a fight. And then in the third period, uh, New Jersey scored to reduce our lead to 1. It was 2-1 to one for us at that point, but then Alexander Radulov scored late in the game from Patrick Eves. And it was 3-1 to one cents, and that's how it ended with another W for us. <clears throat> and Brian Campbell's assist streak ended at 8 games. Oh, he did score a goal, too, against Pittsburgh, but he didn't get an assist, so his uh, assist streak ended, but his point streak is still alive, I suppose. Alright, so we are down in Florida, uh, away from the harsh winters of Canada in March, and we are instead going to be under the sun in Florida. That's pretty nice. Radek Dvorak is back from suspension, back in the lineup in Carolina, and Corey Stillman has racked up 500 assists in his career, with an assist against LA. 
So Corey Sullivan is 37 and he's still a two and a half star player, so so pretty good. Alright, and we are now in Florida to play the Panthers. Panthers have a decent record of 35, 25, and 7. That's good for 7th in the East. We are 2-0 against Florida this season. But both games were at home, so let's see how we fare on the road here. We're going to have Brian Elliott in net. They are going to have Jacob Markstrom. And we won 4-1. So another W for the Suns. Oh, we outshot Florida 52 to 13. Jason Spezza was the first star. He had two goals and an assist. Petrus Bergeron was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Pavel Datsyuk was the third star with two assists. <clears throat> Right. Uh, Spezza scored first in the first period from Petrus Bergeron and Pavel Datsyuk, and then Petrus Bergeron scored from Jason Spezza and Pavel Datsyuk, and it was two nothing sends after one. Then in the second period, Jason Spezza scored his 40th on the power play from Eric Carlson, made it three nothing. Then Florida scored, and it was three to one. And in the third period, Drew Doughty scored in an empty net from Joe Thornton and Marianosa, and 4-1 was the final score. And for once, Zeleno Shara decided to not drop the gloves. Which I, I do believe he fights way too much in this game compared to real life, but, you know, I can see where, you know, his stats would probably uh, make the computer make him fight so much. Jason Spezza extends his goal straight to five games with two goals and an assist. Oh, yeah. Spezza is doing all right. And I do mean all right. All right. So, Anton Volchenkov is ready to return to ice, so he should be back soon. Now, he's been declining to Anton Volchenkov, so I don't know what's going to happen with uh, with him and with that. Alright, now we are in Tampa Bay to face the Lightning. Uh, not a good season in Tampa Bay. They are 19, 36 and 12. That's good for 14th in the East. And we are 1-0 against Tampa Bay this season. It was a... Uh, victory at home so now let's see on the road how we do i feel like we're gonna see Antin yemi in net for this one and we do two games in two nights so niemi in net for us and vasily kashechkin in net for the lightning and we won three to two all right another victory for the suns we outshot tampa Bay 39 to 20. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Uh, Asa Venonen was the second star with an assist. And Eric Carlson was the third star with a goal and two assists. Datsuk scored first in the first period. That was a power play goal from Jason Spezza and Eric Carlson. And then Brooks Like from Eric Carlson and Jason Spezza. It was 2 nothing Sens in the first period. But Tampa Bay managed to tie the game before the end of the period. And it was tied at 2 after 2. And then nobody scored in the second period. And we have to wait all the way to the start of the third period to have our game-winning goal. Eric Carlson scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. And 3-2 was the final score. Nice little win in Tampa, especially two games in two nights. Always nice to win that second game. Nolan Pratt available on waivers. A good night for Anzi Kapitar, who had a hat-trick against Columbus. Pretty good. And Paul Carrier just played in his 1,250th game in his career. Celebrated with an assist against Colorado. 36 years old, Paul Carrier. He's only a one-star player anymore. So yeah, he's getting uh, at the end of his career, I think. Oh yeah, nine points this season, and the season's get, getting close to an end. He's not even playing every game. Yeah, I think Carrier might be near the end of his career. Another great that's going to retire soon. 
Alright, Aaron Asham, Brandon Yip, Jordan Leopold, and Tommy Pitsonen are all available on waivers. Curtis Foster in New Jersey is suspended. He's going to miss 11 games. God, you must have done something terrible. Suspension over for Johan Frenzen. Back in the lineup in Detroit. All right, and then one of the two Giantas loves his fans. I don't know if it's Brian or Steve. And it's Brian. Brian Gianta loves his fans. All right, so he gives pizza and uh, and autographs. We've seen that before. All right, so now our little road trip ends in Buffalo against the Sabres. Uh, Sabres are f still fighting for that uh, eight spot for the playoffs. They are 31, 31 and six. And we are 3-1-1 one one against Buffalo this season. That is more than likely our last game against them this year. Right, Brian Elliott is in net for us. Tim Thomas, former Ottawa Senator, is in net for Buffalo. And we won 4-1, so still undefeated in March. We... Outshot Buffalo 39 to 25. Eric Carlson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Alex Pietrangelo was the second star with an assist. And Alexander Redilov was the third star with two goals. All right. Uh, ooh, lots of penalties in the first period, but nobody scored. Then in the second period, uh, well, all of the scoring actually happened in the second period with Buffalo scoring first, but then Alexander Redlov scored from Pietrangelo and Carlson, and then Redlov again, that was his 25th from Chris Kelly and Eric Carlson. Jason Spezza scored from Drew Doughty, and then finally Joe Thornton scored his 30th from Brooks Like, 4 to 1 sends after 2. And Mike Knubel and Zeden O'Shara fought near the end of the second period, and that was it. Nobody else scored. Just one minor penalty for Buffalo in the third period. And we won this. 4-1. Oh, Alex Pietrangelo is suspended. He's going to miss four games. That's not good. And Jason Spezza scored his 300th goal of his career in that game. So 27 years old, Jason Spezza. Still a five-star player. Hopefully he's going to be for a while. So, Alright, so we are going to be... Uh, see, and we're playing Pittsburgh. That's still behind... Oh, they are 18 points behind us now. Yeah, we're feeling a little bit better about that lead now. But yeah, we have a losing record against Pittsburgh this season, and we are going to be without one of our best defensemen because he's going to be suspended. Jordan Stahl is back from suspension in Pittsburgh, back in the lineup, so he is going to be there to face us. Um, and that happened, and then Kerry Lettonen signed a six-year extension with Atlanta at $5.86 million per year. So he's there long term. That's good. He's a good goaltender. He's a four star player in my universe. Sounds maybe just a little eye for him. Eh, maybe just a little. Alright, and we are now going to be hosting Pittsburgh. San Alex Pietrangelo, that's not going to be there. Alright. Pittsburgh is 49, 17, and 4, and I just alluded to it. They are right behind us in the standings, although 18 points behind, they are second in the East. We are 1 and 2 against Pittsburgh this season, so yeah, I'd like to at least tie the, the series. <coughs> Pittsburgh is going to go with Marc-Andre Fleury in net. We are going with Brian Elliott. And we lost 4-2, so Pittsburgh is giving us fits this season. Hopefully we don't face them in the playoffs. Hopefully another team is going to take care of them. So we uh, outshot them 41-24 to in this game. Uh, Mika Piorala. Piorala. Woof. That's, uh, that's a lot of accents on the vowels there so Mika Piorala 
uh, was a first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Brooks Like was a second star with a goal, and Marc Andre Fleury was the third star with 39 saves and a W. We had 17,180 people that didn't mind not seeing Alex Pietrangelo tonight and showed up for the game. Uh, Pittsburgh scored first in the first, and then we tied the game. It was Brooks Like scoring from Joe Thornton and Eric Carlson, and it was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, uh, Pittsburgh scored, made it 2-1. And then they scored again in the, in the third period, made it 3-1. And then Pavel Detsuk scored his 25th from Mariano San Patris Bergeron. We were down only one. But with one second to go in the third period, uh, Pittsburgh scored in an empty net. And it was 4-2. And obviously with one second left to go in the game, we didn't have enough time to score two goals, which would have been a, an NHL record for sure, but that didn't happen. Alright, so first loss of March happens against Pittsburgh. Jeff Carter has achieved 300 goals in his career as well, so he's just kind of following Spitza, I guess. So he got, he got a goal against Florida, and... Jeff Carter, 26 years old, four-star player. Louis Erickson extends this point streak to 12 games with a goal and two assists against Washington. And Mike Camilleri has reached 300 goals in his career as well. Everybody's following Spitz's lead, apparently. And he got, uh, Camilleri got his goal against Nashville. 28 years old, Mike Camilleri, three-and-a-half-star player. Alright, great night for Matt Duchesne, uh, who had a hat-trick against Vancouver. Alright, and we are about to host the New Jersey Devils. So they are going to be in town here, uh, pretty much around the same place that they were earlier when we faced them so right now they are 34 31 and 4 that's good for ninth in the east we are 2 and 1 against new jersey we did beat them earlier this month martin brother is going to be in net for new jersey we are going with brian elliott And we won 6-4, so pretty offensive game here. Uh, we outshot New Jersey 47-19. to Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Mark Streit was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Jason Spezza was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. We had 17,783 people in attendance for this game. Drew Doughty opened up the scoring in the first from Zdeno, <coughs> sorry, Zdeno Shara, and it was one nothing sends after one. Then a bunch of goals in the second period. So we have Mike Fisher scoring from Andre Mazaros and Nikita Filatov. It was 2 nothing sends at that point. Then New Jersey scored four unanswered goals, and they were up 4-2. And then Jason Spezza scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Drew Doughty. So it was 4-3 New Jersey after two. And then in the third period, we scored three uh, unanswered goals. Patrick Keefe scored from Ryan Whitney and Chris Kelly. Then Joe Thornton from Marianosa. And finally, Joe Thornton on the power play from Jason Spezza and Eric Carlson. 6-4, the final score here. And in the third period, Zdeno Shara and Antoine Vermette went at it. Again, I guess Vermette just doesn't like Shara or something. That's either very courageous or very stupid of him. Uh... But yeah, he went at him again. Well, who knows? Maybe it's Shara that went at him. I don't know. No further action needed for New Jersey's cat Nick Palmieri. What did you do? What did you do to my players that warranted being looked at? Well, you're not suspended, so... Might be because I didn't get an injury. I don't know. Sadly, the league tends to suspend more depending on the end result, which... Is a little silly in my mind, but you should punish the act, not the result. And so we're going to be hosting Tampa Bay here in a few days. Another team we just played against not too long ago. 
Oh, after getting uh, the first star against us, Mika Piora Piorala is being put on waivers by Pittsburgh. It's like, hey, thanks, bye. Uh, Louis Erickson's point streak ended at 12 games, did not register a point against Tampa Bay. Martin Erat has a great game. He had a hat trick against Boston. Marek Zidlicki had a great game. He had four assists in that same game. All right, and now, oh, one more day to sim. Could downstretch spell end for Rangers coach Don Sweeney? So Rangers are not doing good. They are 27, 38, and 7, and the Rangers are talking about changing their head coach. So Don Sweeney might be losing his job. All right. Oh, I forgot to delete it. Now we have Tampa Bay in town, so we just beat them earlier this month. They haven't moved much. They are 20, 39, and 12. They are still 14th in the East, and we are 2 0 against Tampa Bay this season. So they are sending Koshechkin in net again, and we are going with Brian Elliott. And we won 4 1. We outshot Tampa Bay 34 to 16. Pavel Datsuk was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Zeden Oshar was the second star with a goal and an assist. <clears throat> and Drew Doughty was the third star with a goal. Now we had 19,006 people in attendance for this game. Uh, Drew Doughty scored first in the first period. That was his 15th from Pavel Datsuk and Jason Spezza. Then Joe Thornton on the power play from Pavel Datsuk and Jason Spezza. 2 0 Sands after one. Right, and then in the second period, uh, Tampa Bay scored, and it was 2-1 for us at that point, but a minute and one seconds later, Zeden Oshar scored short-handed from Petrus Bergeron and Pavel Datsuk, and it was 3-1 Sens after two. And in the third period, Mike Fisher scored short-handed as well from Zeden Oshar, it was 4-1 Sens, and that's how this game ended. So a couple short shorties for us in that game, and that made a difference. Martin St. Louis has played in a thousand games in his career, so still playing in Philly. The thousand game was against Dallas, didn't get a point. Three star player, 35 years old, Martin St. Louis. Predators lose Shea Weber to sprain ankle out for four weeks. That happened against Detroit. So Shea Weber. Eh. If Nashville makes the playoffs, with which they should with that record, they, have, they are 41, 23, and 8. Uh, you should be back right on time for the playoffs for them. Alright, so we are going to be playing in Carolina here in a couple days. A uh, quick two... Uh, two game road trip then we're gonna go back home for one game and then we're gonna finish the month on the road for three more games all right so one stop in carolina first we'll take them one at a time uh pa paranto has a memorable game um he had three goals and an assist against the flames so a quick Funny thing that uh, about PA Paranto. <laughs> so where I live, I, I'm not gonna exactly disclose where it is that I live, but where I live, hockey is not necessarily the you know the top priority. And one night I was, I don't know why, but the TV was on the local news here, and uh, PA Paranto at that time was playing, I believe, for Colorado. And anyway, they went to you know say something about him, whatever it was. I don't remember what it is, what it was. And the poor girl had never heard of that guy for sure. And you know, instead of saying P.A. Paranto or you know calling him Pierre Alexandre Paranto because that's his name, uh, she said Pa, <laughs> Pa Paranto, and then she looked completely dumb dumbfounded as she was saying that like, like who calls their kid? 
Pa. Well, that's because you said it wrong. But anyway, so yeah, that happened. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and delete this email and this one as well. So just a quick thing about PA Parento that I heard that I thought was kind of funny. All right. Of course, it's not that girl's fault. I mean, Aki is not super popular over here. Yarmir Jagger has wrecked up a thousand goals in his career. He had a goal and an assist against Detroit. Thousand goals in his career. That's pretty freaking impressive. 39 years old, Yarmir Jagger is still a four star player. All right, and we are in Carolina to face the hurricane. So hurricanes are a disaster on skates. They are 13, 53, and six. That's good for completely dead last in the East and by quite a margin as well. They are 20 points back on Tampa Bay. All right, so we are three and zero against Carolina this season. We're sending Antiniemi in net for this game. Frederick Anderson is going to be in net for Carolina. And we won 4-2. We outshot Carolina 40-23. Eric Carlson was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Thomas Puck was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Andre Mazaros was a third star with two assists. Oh, all the stars are defensemen. Right, so Carolina scored first in the first period, then Jason Spezza scored from Ryan Whitney and Pavel Datsuk, and it was tied at 1 after 1. Then in the second period, Carolina took a 2-1 lead, and then Petrus Bergeron tied the game from Eric Carson, and then Carson scored from Andre Mazaros and Drew Doughty, and it was 3-2. Well, three defensemen got points on that goal, there must have been a change at the bench. Anyway, 3-2 sends after 2. And finally, in the third period, Brooks like scored his 15th of the season from Andre Mizaros and Marianosa. 4-2 was the final score in Carolina. Pretty nice little win. And Pietrangelo is back from suspension now. And we are heading to New York to play against the Rangers. Big game for Keith Ballard in Toronto. He had four assists against Minnesota. Pretty good. Patrick Marlowe has recorded 600 points in his career. Still in Buffalo after I traded him in there for Ryan Miller. And that happened against Montreal. And it was a goal. 31 years old. Patrick Marlowe still a three-star player. Danny Briard played in his thousandth game in Phoenix. Very quiet career for Briere. We haven't heard of him much, and he's already 33. And he's only a one star and a half uh, player anymore. He didn't get a point in that game that was against St. Louis. And great night for David Backus in that same game. He had four assists. All right, and we are going to be <coughs> um, playing in New York against the Rangers. So Rangers still not doing all that great. Don Sweeney still in jeopardy to lose his job. And the Rangers are now 28, 39, and 7. They are 12 in the East, and they are not going to make the playoffs. They are 15 points behind, unless... Everybody loses their games there and that they win every single game until the end of the season then they would squeak in But yeah, that's not something I that's very plausible 3 and 0 for us against the Rangers this season. I forget if I've mentioned it and we are sending Brian Elliott in net Al Montoya is gonna face us this time and we won 2-1, to one, and we have officially eliminated the Rangers from the playoffs. They are now mathematically eliminated. 
So I have out or I have the Suns have outshotted the Rangers 52 to 19. Al Montoya was the first star despite the loss. He made 50 saves. Matt Zuccarello was the second star with a goal, and Ryan Whitney was the third star with two assists. Uh, so Rangers scored first in the first period. Then we scored both of our goals in the second, that was Marian Osa from Ryan Whitney and Joe Thornton, and then Andre Mazaros from Ryan Whitney and Marian Osa. It was 2-1 Sens at that point. And the Rangers took a bunch of penalties in the third, apparently we didn't score on any of them, because 2-1 was the final score. No missed time for Edmonton's Ryan Smith, not suspended. Anton Volchenkov ready for full contact. He is about to be back. Alright, so Washington in town now. So it's been a while since we faced the Capitals. They have a pretty good record. They are 47, 22, and 5. And they have overtaken the Atlanta Trashers as head of their division. So they are now third in the East. We are 2-1 and one against the Caps this season. They have ended us our biggest loss of the season. We had lost 6-1 to one in Washington. So let's see if we can kind of get revenge on that. They're going to have Tuka Rask in net. We are going to go with Ansi Niemi. And we won 3-0. There you go. We outshot Washington 47 to 17. Marion also was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Joe Thornton was the second star with two assists, and Jason Spezza was the third star with an assist as well. Uh, 18,773 people in attendance for this game against the Caps. Uh, Pavel Datsyuk. Open up the scoring in the first from Jason Spezza and Eric Carson, then Marion Osa on the power play from Chris Kelly and Joe Thornton, and it was 2 nothing Suns after one. Zdeno Shara and Ryan Callan, former teammates, punched each other's faces uh, in the first period, and probably hurt. And then in the second period, we have Brooks Like scoring on the power play from Joe Thornton and Marion Osa, 3 nothing Suns after two. That's how it ended. No more fights in that game. Still surprised to see so many people try to take a shot at Zdeno Shara. Good game for Yarmir Yager. He had a goal and four assists against New Jersey. A little game. No one could stop Sidney Crosby in that same game. He had three goals and two assists. Oh, it was a 9 nothing trouncing. That's what's going on. Rumors surround Greg Sherman's future. Oh, that's the GM. So Tampa Bay might uh, change their GM. Not going great over there. 20, 42, and 12. So yeah, they might change that. Maybe they should get me. I know how to build a, a pretty good team, I think. Alright, Edmonton's green suspended. So Matt Green in Edmonton is suspended. He's going to miss seven games. And Volchenkov, very close to be back. Alrighty, um, we are now in Atlanta to play against the Thrashers. Um, Atlanta still has a good record. They are 46, 22, and 6. They are fifth in the East right now because, as I just mentioned, Washington took over over there in that division. We are 3 0 against Atlanta this season. Last game of the season against them. Alright, Ansi Niemi is going to be in net for us. He's going to face Kerry Lettonen. And we won 7 to 2. We outshot Atlanta 33 to 21. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game with two goals and two assists. Petrus Bergeron was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Brooks Like was the third star with a goal and two assists as well. So Atlanta scored first, then we have Sam Gagne scoring from Drew Dali and Petrus Bergeron. Then Atlanta scored again, and then we tied the game again. It was Brooks-like from Jason Spezza, and it was tied at 2 after 1. 
and we scored two goals in the second period. Jason Spezza from Ryan Whitney and Brooks Lake, and then Patrice Bergeron from Brooks Lake and Drew Doughty. 4 2 after two. And in the third period, Jason Spezza scored his 45th of the season from Drew Doughty and Petrus Bergeron. And then Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Jason Spezza and Alexander Redlov. And Patrick Eves from Alexander Redlov. And it was 7-2, the final score. So Spezza is five goals away from a 50-goal season. I think he has a shot at it. It's going to be tight, but I think he does have a shot at it. All right, so Pavel Datsyuk is hurt. Oh, oh, that's going to be for a while. They don't say for how long, but uh, that's torn ankle ligaments. Oh, right before the playoff stretch, too. All right, so how long are you hurt for? Indefinite, so that's like six months plus is what that means. Might even miss the start of the next season, depending. All right, you're going on the injured reserve, and we're going to need to recall somebody for the rest of the season and the playoffs. All right, who's doing good in Big Hampton? All right, so we have Drayson Bowman. Yeah, I think it's time to give Zach Smith a shot. Come on, Zach Smith. Come in the NHL. Welcome in the NHL. All right, and we are going to continue that road trip. Uh, we're going back in Florida. Oh, uh, Petri Consola is available on waivers. Henrik Zetterberg has accomplished 500 assists in his career with two assists against Chicago. 30 years old, Henrik Zetterberg, still a four-star player. All right. Oh, Ryan Whitney is hurt as well. All right. I'm going to need to deal with that too. Okay, so Tampa Bay, as we just saw, still not doing good. 21, 42, and 12. They are 14th. They're thinking about changing their GM, and we're coming to town. So nothing's going very good over there. All right, so Brian Elliott in net for us. Vesely Kashechkin still in net for Tampa Bay. Uh, for the third time this month, we're playing Tampa Bay. We face Kashechkin in net every single time, and we've won every single game. But he's a guy they want to go to, so. And we won 5 to 2. We outshot Tampa Bay 49 to 17. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. Two goals and two assists, so he only needs three more goals to get to 50. Eric Carson was the second star with three assists, and Joe Thornton was the third star with two goals. Uh, Spezza opened up the scoring in the first from Ryan Whitney and Brooks like and then Joe Thornton scored his 35th from Marinosa and it was 2-0 Suns after one. Then in the second period, Tampa Bay scored, made it 2-1 for us and Spezza scored on the power play from Eric Carlson and Alex Pietrangelo, 3-1 Suns at that point. Tampa Bay scored again, come back to within one. Uh, but then uh, Berge, Petrus Bergeron scored with a minute left in the period from Eric Carlson and Jason Spezza. It was 42 after 2. There were a bunch of penalties in that period. And finally, in the third period, Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Jason Spezza and Eric Carlson. And 5-2 is the final score here. Oh, Joe Thornton just played in his thousandth game in his career. Uh, with two goals, celebrated that in Tampa Bay. 31 years old Joe Thornton, three and a half star player, so, so he's declining right now. And I just resigned him because he was asking, he was not asking for a super big raise, so it made more sense to keep him than to trade him or let him go. 
All right, and we have one more game left in March here. It's going to be in Florida against the Panthers. Brett Lysak is available. All right, and the Panthers are 38, 31, and 8. And they've been sliding a little bit. Well, they're seventh in the East. But yeah, th there used to be a bigger gap between seven and eight in the East, and now it's only two points. So I think Florida's been not doing too good lately. Uh, we are three and zero against the Panthers this season. Last game of the season in Florida. Anthony Niemi is going to be in net for us. We are going. Uh, the Panthers are going to Jacob Markstrom. I'm sorry. And we won five to two. We outshot Florida 48 to 16. And Brooks like was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Petrus Bergeron was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Jason Spezza was the third star with two goals. One goal away from 50 over there. Joe Thornton opened up the scoring in the first uh, from Zdeno Osher and Marinosa. And then Florida tied the game. It was tied at one after one. And in the first uh, period, Uh, Tanner Glass and Zach Smith got into a fight in the first. So for once, Zdeno Shara didn't have to drop the gloves because Zach Smith did it. In the second period, My, uh, Mike Fisher scored from Andre Mazaros to give us the 2-1 lead, but then Florida tied the game again, so it's tied at 2. And then Jason Spezza scored from Brooks like and it was 3-2 cents after 2. Then in the third period, Patrice Bergeron scored his 25th from Eric Carlson, and then finally Jason Spezza scored from Brooks Like and Patrice Bergeron. 5 to 2 cents after 3. Alright, Sidney Crosby lights the lamp. He had a hat trick against Tampa Bay. Everybody beats Tampa Bay lately. Um. And then that happened. Ryan Whitney almost back. We have the development report here because it's April 1st. And Jason Spezza and Carey Price are the players of the month. So, yeah. Spezza got recognized. Oh, that's Niemi is hurt. Yeah, he's day to day. He's good. All right. So there's four games left in the regular season before we head to the playoffs. Um, uh, we are assured to finish first in the East, and it looks like we're going to face either Florida, Toronto, Buffalo, or New Jersey in the first round, depending on how those games go. So. Uh, could go pretty much either or so we'll see what happens with that but that's gonna be one of those teams all right so we're gonna take a look in the west see what that looks like all right so chicago is first and i'm colorado oh, so they came back up again san jose nashville la detroit and minnesota So all of the Western Canadian teams are all outside of the playoff picture and they, it doesn't look like they're going to be in there. Wow, okay. And Toronto right now is holding a spot, Montreal and of course us. Alright. So we're about to get Winnipeg back in the, in the league. Should be in a few seasons. Right, let's take a look, see our stats. I think Jason Spezza's stats are going to look pretty good because he's been scoring a lot of goals. All right, so Spezza has 121 points in 78 games. Uh, Thornton, 91 in 78. Eric Carlson, 78 in 75. So Carlson is back to a point per game, just slightly above that. I think he might be the rookie of the year. Uh, Petrus Bergeron, 77 in 76. Red Love 52 and 64. 
and then it goes down from there with Marianosa with 51 of course that took would be up there somewhere but he's hurt so we don't see him represented here and then we're gonna take a look at the stats in the league I wonder if Spezza is first so for the points he is All right so Spezza is the best goal scorer in the league with 49 goals and then Thornton is ninth with 37 and then Spezza is also the best passer in the league with 72 uh, assists so obviously he's the best scorer in the league with 121 points that's 10 more than Sidney Crosby All right, so we're looking pretty sharp there. Petrus Bergeron is a plus 71 on the season. So do you think he's going to win the the Selkie? Maybe. Plus 71, that's that's pretty sexy as a, as a stat. I'm not somebody that believes much in plus minuses, but for the sake of the game, since it doesn't really have advanced stats or anything like that, uh, I'll take that plus 71. Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and save the game. So, of course, the next video is going to be those remaining four games and then the playoffs, in which I hope we're going to do pretty good. And I hope we're not going to face Pittsburgh because we've struggled against them this season. So I'm not sure we could even eliminate them if we were to face them. That would be a shame to not win the cup where I've kind of accustomed my viewers to winning the cup every year now so there's some pressure there but anyway so uh i do want to thank you for tuning in as usual and if you've liked the video please feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you